Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to reduce the file size of the Utility Services Backup, which is a new function within Utility Services 6.2. The Utility Services Backup function is new to the Avaya Aura 6.2 release. It will not be found in the earlier Utility Services releases. This video will explain why the Utility Services backup is so large and a method to reduce that backup to a more manageable size if desired. Some of the benefits would be the Utility Server backup uses less space on the remote medium. The System Platform Backup Reform from CDOM calls the Utility Services Backup plugin and the reduced size of the Utility Services backup reduces the overall size of the CDOM backup. The smaller file sizes allow for easier movement of the files across the network. We will now look at how to reduce the backup file size. I have logged into the Utility Services SMI page and have started by selecting the Utility Services Backup and Restore link under the Miscellaneous section on the left. Note the upper line in the screen, specifically the green word included, which includes all of the IP phone firmware plus all of the branch gateway and media module firmware within the backup as well. These all come as the default with the utility service template or the initial template install. I am pressing the create backup button to create a baseline backup. The compiling of the backup generally takes about three to five minutes. I have reduced that time for this video. We will continue after the backup completes. The backup has now completed when the success message is presented and the highlighted download link appears. I have clicked the link to start the download and have selected a location on my hard disk to save the file. As the download is occurring, indicated on the screen shows the full backup is 721 megabytes. The next steps will reduce that backup file size. I have now clicked the Manage Phone Firmware link under the section IP Phone Firmware Manager. The next several steps will be selecting and performing a deletion of several of the unused IP phone firmware releases from the default install. Each of the firmware images is about 15 to 65 megabytes in size. For illustration, I am randomly deleting five of the 10 phone firmware images. I have sped up that process. In practice, you would delete the ones that will never be used in your particular environment. For housekeeping purposes, you should consider, after downloading and install an updated release, removing the old one. My suggestion would be doing a deletion after you have validated the new release and are comfortable with its performance. Going back to the Utility Services Backup and Restore link, I have started the backup process once again so that we can get an idea of the backup file size reduction. Now that the backup has completed, I have clicked the link again to download the backup file. Please note the file size of the backup is now 497 megabytes. That is about a 32% reduction in the size of the backup. In closing, looking once more at the Manage Phone Firmware dialog, the file highlighted is the largest of the firmware images. The firmware file is the one for the Avaya Flare experience. The file is over 300 megabytes in size. If you do not use the Flare experience in your environment, that file could be removed as well. If you do, however, my suggestion is to manage the removal of the earlier releases to conserve on space in the backup since the file is so very large. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.